On to uh, the Nelson Hall assessment of the process discovery and mining um, piece and on our NEAT, which is our quadrant-based graph. It, it's fairly similar to other quadrant-based graphs you see really. Um, the, the difference between ours, I suppose, is uh, we build the data out of those client interviews that we have, um, as well as the analysts' um, views and um, criteria that we build on. Um, and we put in multiple weightings. So if the client is only after, uh, for some reason, process discovery, we can just focus on that. So uh, for, for example, one, one criteria that we've got on the left here, the process visualization, um, that's, that's built on not only the uh, client's opinions of, of that piece of the offering or that piece of the platform, but also uh, the analyst view on does it include, for example, um, can you filter uh, on, onto a particular process? Uh, can you get a BPMN view or a social network view? Um, custom filters, hierarchies, pre-built visuals, bottleneck analysis, or all those um, visualization tools that would help you in, in um, organizing a process. Um, so uh, as I say, that was... 38 criteria, I believe, that we um, interviewed clients on. Uh, clients were actually asked 160 questions uh, when it came down to it on the process uh, understanding platform that they were using and their, their uh, general needs in the market. Um, and the weightings we ended up producing were uh, plan process change, uh, discovery uh, or desktop discovery and process mining. So let, let's give um, the results here. Um, so you can see on the left-hand side, just one of the weightings that we had um, for Abby, which was the um, process change or, uh, or facilitating process change. And you can see Abby in the leader's quadrant um, near, the, near the top uh, right or in the top right quadrant. So I, I'm more than happy to share a bit of feedback that we got from couple of the clients and um, ourselves at Nelson Hall. Um, you can see on the right hand side here a couple of the pieces of criteria that uh, were that Abby scored very highly on. So the ease of aggravation, uh, aggregating the logs, uh, for example, uh, it was a five out of five. Um, the desktop discovery um, pricing models, five out of five, and that was client rated. Um, range of pre-built templates for analysis, that was a four, and that, that was still much higher than um, the competitors on here. And a, a client, uh, or the, the overall business impact rating we gave was a 4.5. And I think that's because we uh, we ran to the nearest 0.5 and it was uh, a 4.6 before. So um, I had to pull that down rather than push it up. Um, when it came to the, the client feedback in particular, there was a lot of praise when it came to um, being able to visualize the process. So uh, Abbey Timeline in particular, the, the process schema that's offered there and the breakdown. Um, so I, I, I'll, use the, I'll use a quote uh, I, I have here. Um, the process schema and breakdown is another functionality which is quick and fast and gets to the nitty gritty. That's a, a user quote. Uh, likewise, the user inter interface is intuitive, very stable, and works well. So I'm getting a lot of feedback uh, such as that through, as well as my own um, views on the platform and, and being able to uh, see the platform in action as well. Uh, likewise, when it comes to um, reducing the effort on gathering the information, there was a um, there were at least two clients that were extremely happy with the uh, ETL layer, which is Timeline's Extract Load Transform layer, which helps you uh, take logs uh, and load them into the system and, and do a lot of the work that you traditionally, or I suppose um, you might need in the past to have uh, someone trained up on Power Query or, or Tableau or anything like that. Now it's it's business user based. Um, I, I imagine that there's probably one or two areas that you know your your clients or potential clients on the call of 
where um, we had one or two clients saying Abby could probably improve. And um, you know, th these were across the line um, for the majority. And, and one, it, it's something that we've already mentioned. It was on automating some analysis. So at the moment, as I said before, you have to be somewhat proactive. You have to, um, you have to use all the views, the 20 views that Abby give you. Um, normally you find the issue in the first one or two, but you, you can um, have all those views to, to try and find some issues uh, with your process. So clients were saying, maybe this can be a bit more proactive. Um, and uh, from, from our side, the user training, uh, it's not something that Abby focuses on. Um, so when it comes down to it, that, that sort of piece in when it comes to a Nirvana, it, it will um, be using that data and taking it over to a, a third party application for, for training or uh, in, in some other way, helping the users train um, their, their users. But overall, the feedback was very strong for Abby. Um, so users were um, saying the likelihood to recommend the platform was coming in at, again, out of five, a 4.5. Um, and if I just pick up another quote, um, this is because the ease of use of a platform versus other platforms that we evaluated. The ease of being able to take that log data and quickly transform it and visualize it is much easier in timeline. So that's a, a client quote on the Nelson Hall side. Um, we, we think Abby does extremely well when it comes to collecting data from the process discovery and process mining side, uh, translating it and using the 20 odd standard analysis views to help clients understand uh, what, the, what the process is and how they can improve it.